When planning your trip to Rome, location is very important. There's a saying in real estate, location, location, location. Well, it's just as important when you're planning a trip to Rome of where you're gonna stay. In some cities that you visit, like Florence, Venice, Siena, a lot of the smaller towns, it's not that important where you're staying as far as location. Um, you can access those pretty easily by foot. You're not gonna be that inconvenienced if you have to go back to your uh, apartment or hotel, Airbnb. But in Rome, it's a very large city. And the location can make a huge difference of how you perceive the city and how your overall experience will be in that city. So I'm gonna show you what I feel is the best location to stay within Rome. I have stayed in Rome 20 plus times in all different locations. And um, there's one location that stands out far and above the rest. Um, and let me show you why. Here we go. Here's a perspective of Rome from a, from a satellite view. And you look down here in the bottom uh, right corner, there's the Colosseum. Here's the Tiber River. Up in the top left corner is the Vatican. There's the castle. And this area here, you got Trevi's Fountain, you got Piazza Navona. This whole area is considered the, the um, historical area of Rome. Now, some people consider the train station, which is, okay, we're gonna pull over here. This is where the train station is. And most people coming and going from, from Rome will be entering into this area here by uh, either train or metro. And um, this area near the station, a lot of people, I've read in, in, on uh, different sites that this is kind of a desirable area to stay because you're close to the metro, you're close to the trains. For me, I don't like staying over here. It's not very walkable and you're gonna find that you have to use a train or metro to get to everything, and the metro really doesn't serve much of the historical area. So you'll be taking a bus, and if you try to go by foot from here, you're gonna be walking a lot further than it looks. You know, you might stand in a hotel, let's say over here, and then you, you know, it looks like, hey, you know, it's just down the street and get the Colosseum, or just over here, I can go to the Trevi's Fountain. There's a lot more distance than you think. Um, this is a pretty condensed map and all of, a lot of the maps you look at it just looks like, you know, oh, it's just not that far. But it really is. I mean, from the train station to here is probably two miles plus. And um, then if you have to go back, I mean, that's a 30 minute walk each direction. So here is the best place to stay in Rome. Let's go back here. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to show you why this is the best place. It's not right here. There's a little square here called called um, Torre Argentina, okay? Let's go down here and take a quick look. Okay, Torre Argentina is kind of the hub of the whole um, historical area of downtown with some added bonuses, which I'll explain. Just about 300 yards to the north is the Pantheon. And we've all heard of the Pantheon. It's a really cool building. Um, and the Pantheon, I mean, again, it's just a few hundred yards. You can walk down to the Pantheon. There's a perspective of it there. And let's take a look down here. So when I'm staying, I try to get as close as I can to this, this, uh, this square here. This also happens to be the square that, that Julius Caesar was, was killed at, just FYI. So right around the corner from here is a place called the Jewish Ghetto. It's just a couple hundred yards. You come down here, come down this street, and there's a, there's a, a, a road right here. Let's see here, I think it's this road here. It's actually this road right here. Okay, this is the Jewish Ghetto. As you walk through here, you're gonna see there's lots of restaurants, and. And uh, the Jewish ghetto is a great place to come visit. There's no cars in this area. You can take a walk through here, check out the shops, restaurants. There's a pizzeria. There's uh, a, a Jewish bakery right around here. And as you come through, there's some of the best ruins of all of Rome right through here. And you're gonna, you're gonna be able to walk through those. And there's no charge to do that. You're gonna come up right through these ruins here. And then you'll come out over here by Theater Marcello. And um, let's take a look at this.
Okay, we're back at Torre Argentina. Another great thing close by here within walking distance. You can just walk right down this street and then you cross this bridge and you're in the um, Trastevere area of Rome. Trastevere is a very unique area. It's a very hip area. It's some of the most expensive real estate in all of, all of Rome. But um, more importantly, there's tons of restaurants in here. Um, you can just walk down these streets, especially heading to the west of that road. There's Piazza Santa Maria right here, and all in here there's tons of restaurants, shops, boutiques, and it's a lot of fun just to walk the streets. It's got great nightlife, lots of bars. Um, there's activities going on all basically all the way till you know very late in the evening. So I love being close to this area that I can come over here in the evening, enjoy a meal, walk the streets, see the vendors. And one of the other things kind of cool is right over here, I'll show you. There's this bridge, and right across the bridge, oops, we're gonna come over here and try to pan out here and kind of see this. Okay, let's zoom in here. There is a little piazza, and in this piazza, there's lots of street performers will come here, and you can sit on these steps, get a, uh, get you know some street food there, get some pizza, get whatever, just hang out, watch the street performers. Here we have a concert in the park. Let's sit down and take a listen and see if these guys have got talent. Here we go. And if there's not a street performer, there's always seems to be something going on in this little square here, um, especially on the weekends. And so that's a lot of fun to do. Let's go take a look at Trastevere. Okay, back at, at uh, Torre Argentina, just to the west a little bit is the um, Campo de Fiori. It's an open market. It's right here. Let's take a look at this. It's just right here. This is an open market. It's one of the oldest open markets in all of Rome. It's been going on since the 1800s. And every day they have a, a, a big open market there that runs until from about 5 a.m. until around 2 in the afternoon. Originally, it was just fruits and vegetables, but um, it's become kind of an open market. You can get souvenirs, oils, flowers, just all kinds of stuff. Um, let's take a look at the market. So we're back at Torre Argentina, just around the corner, and just to the west of the Pantheon. Go up this road here is Piazza Navona. Most people have heard of Piazza Navona. It is probably Rome's most beautiful piazza. It's beautiful all times of day, especially in the evening when artists and and people come out to enjoy the square. But um, yeah, let's take a look. Okay, we're back at Torre Argentina, and from here you can you can see there's the Pantheon, and just to the east, let's figure this out, is Trevi's Fountain. It's right here, and uh, Trevi's Fountain. Obviously, everybody wants to see Trevi's Fountain, and there we are, right here. So it's also not a far walk from here, and it's probably best visited when you're in this area. It's easy to get over here, so get over here early in the morning, 
or um, late at night or even in the middle of the night is kind of nice. And I've been there at 3 in the morning and there's still been people at this piazza. If you go between like 11 to whenever, you know, 8 or 9 at night, it's pretty crowded. But uh, it's still worth seeing even with the big crowds. Just uh, watch your belongings and and uh, there are a few people out there trying to take advantage of people, pickpocketers or whatnot. So, yeah, Trevi's Fountain is, is also pretty accessible. Let's take a look. Hold on. So there's a, a tradition that if you throw a coin over your shoulder, you get to come back to Rome. <laughs> and Kim did it again. Okay, we're back at Torre Argentina. Going to the Spanish Steps is not too far, especially when you consider the fact that on your way, you can check out some of these other monuments, such as the Pantheon, Trevi's Fountain, and then over here, let's see if we can find it fairly quickly, is the uh, Spanish Steps, and this is the, the top of the Spanish Steps there. So here, here is, there's the steps right there. And uh, let's take a look. I ran up the stairs really fast. It was not a blast. I'm out of gas. That's the best I got. We're back at Torre Argentina. Again, this is the hub of so many things, including the Vatican. While the Vatican is a little bit far to walk, it's easily accessible by taking a bus from here. And then the, the Vatican is just right over here. So the bus will drop you off real close to the Vatican where you can visit the Vatican itself, the museums which are up over here in this direction. And uh, one thing I would say about staying in this area, if you're gonna be visiting Rome just to go to the Vatican, there are a lot of hotels and Airbnbs in this location out here, real close to the Vatican. While for me, I stayed here, I felt disconnected. It became a chore to get to the city and to the areas that I like to visit. Um, if I was just gonna be at the Vatican, then yeah, it would be a great choice. But um, if you're you know, wanting to see a lot of other things in Rome, I would say this is, while it's connected to the metro, that's nice, you can, hit to the, you can get to the station, you can, you can do some of the main things in Rome, it's just not very convenient for most of the uh, historical area. So I would, like I say, I mean, uh, this would definitely not be a place that I would like to stay at, it's not awful. But um, I think that if you stay closer to Torre Argentina, your trip will be that much more um, enjoyable um, considering everything. And there's one other thing I want to talk to you about. Once again, while this area is not accessible by metro, you can access the Colosseum and Circus Maximus without too much problem. It is a little bit of a walk, but what I like to do is you leave from there, you head through the Jewish ghetto which is right through this area. You turn the corner here, and here's the uh, Circus Maximus. And then from here, there's a couple cool restaurants right in here, and then you can walk all of, all this area here. This is like from here to here, it's about six or 700 meters, it's quite a walk. But on this side of the, uh, over here on this side, there is a metro station right here that you can then take and head right up the road to the Colosseum. Now you can walk that whole thing, and I did it one time, and it was quite a while. Um, you'll be worn out a little bit if that's what you decide to do. I think even just cutting off a little bit with that one metro ride makes your uh, your trip to the to the Colosseum more enjoyable. And then when you're in the Colosseum, you're going to have the opportunity to also um, check out the form. Here's, a, here's an added bonus tip. Okay, we're back at Torre Argentina. Just to the east is the monument. It was built, Vic, Victor Emmanuel Monument, right here in uh, Piazza Venezia. This particular monument is seen from most locations in Rome, and if you're in Rome visiting, you're gonna run into this without even trying your bus or something's gonna take you through this square. But what's really cool is is what I like to do is, this is part also the Roman form right here. 
And um, right up this back side, you can take the stairs or you can walk around the other side of the building. But if you go through these stairs, you're gonna come up some stairs right into this piazza here. And this is a piazza that was designed by Michelangelo. But what's really cool is, and not many people know about this, but right, you come right through this back door here, through this little alleyway, and there's right here, there's a really good perch to look down on the Roman Forum. And I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can get closer to it and I'll kind of show you. Now this is from a computer's view, but maybe uh, let's take a look here. I'll drop this pin here and we'll drop down right onto the Roman Forum. All right, there you go. This is basically ground zero for where I like to stay when I'm at Rome. If I can't get a hotel directly next to this piazza, that's fine. But um, I like to stay down towards the river in this area here. This is Campo dei Fiori. Um, this whole area in here is really nice because in the evening time, I can just walk across the bridge and connect it to Trastevere. Or from here, I can head over to Piazza Navona and all the other sites that we've visited. So this is kind of the best area in general where to stay when you're in Rome. Staying in Trastevere is also a great option. If, if um, you don't mind walking a little bit further, oftentimes I find myself staying in here just because I like the, the uh, scene here. I like the vibe. I like the nightlife. I like the restaurants. And then from here, I can walk instead of walking to trust every day in the daytime, I can just walk across and, and hit the sites. It's a little bit further walking. That's why I think uh, this side of the river is just a little bit better because I can still enjoy trust every day without, um, you know, in the evening when I want to, but um, I don't have to, you know, do quite as much walking. Um, and then the place I'd probably try to avoid again is this whole area near the station. It's, it's a little bit seedy. It's, there's some nice restaurants, there's some things to see and do over there, but really most of the stuff you've come to see in Rome is going to be quite a bit of further than you think away, you know, from that area. So staying closer to here, you're going to, you're going to really uh, see the benefits. Rome is a very big city, and the further you get away from the center of Rome, unless you're there to do, you know, other things, you've been to Rome a million times and you want to check some other neighborhoods out, I highly recommend you stay to the area near the historical area, especially the area that we talked about that's closer to the river um, in this area right in here. Um, it's just it's just a great area to, to visit Rome. And so having been there so many times, there's no place I'd recommend more than this area here. And let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy your trip to Rome. There you go. <laughs>